Hey everyone, I am so excited to bring you yet another video. Today is Wednesday. I'm on a roll. Um, I just wanted to make a short video on some of the reasons why I haven't been that crazy about the X-T5. Now don't get me wrong, there's not a huge list, so I don't want you to be disappointed. But these are just of the few little hang-ups that I've sort of come across. So, um, I have done multiple weddings this year, and this has happened twice, but I have gotten a green screen on the back uh, screen of the X-T5 as I was using it. Now, I don't know why this happened. It was very random both times. I was not shooting in burst mode. Um, I was not taking video. It was just normal, single shots, um, just very normal, nothing special. Um, when I happened to grab the camera again to take more pictures, I looked down and the entire screen was green and it had like these black lines moving across it. The only way to get that screen off and have it return back to a normal state was to turn the camera off, take the battery out, put the battery back in, turn it on, and everything worked. So I'm not sure why that happened. I've talked to Fuji about it a couple of times. They don't know. It's a situation where they're telling me they would have to actually see it happen. Well, that's impossible. It has happened at random times. Uh, the camera was not overheating. I have talked to them extensively about this um, and really they can't give me an answer. There's nothing wrong with the actual screen itself as far as I know, like maybe the connections inside the camera. Um, I don't know what could be causing this, so that's a little strange. Um, doesn't make me feel very confident uh, when you're at a wedding and you're in charge of someone's memories for that day and you've already taken hundreds if not maybe thousands of images on a single camera on a memory card and you look down and see a green screen on the back of your camera and of course you certainly don't want your customer to see that your bride or your groom so it's it's really freaky all of a sudden to have that happen you're trying to work quick you're trying to keep the stress and the concern that you feel private because you don't want anyone else to panic but um, after putting the battery back in and turning the camera back on, and I did a quick image review, um, all of my images were there. All of my images copied to the computer after the wedding, uh, and I delivered the full gallery as I no normally would. But in the moment when you're standing there and you see a green screen like that on the back of your camera, yeah, it's very concerning. So far, there are no answers on that issue. Now the second issue is something that I experienced back in July and it wasn't really cause for concern as far as, I don't really know whose fault this was. So um, I clean my lenses and the camera itself gently. I don't use any sprays or anything like that, um, but I have a very soft lens cloth that I use to just wipe down the back of the screen you know, us ladies, we get makeup stuck to the back of it and stuff like that. So um, I just took a quick wipe of the viewfinder and noticed that the coating of the viewfinder was coming off. So I had two weddings that day. I had an elopement that morning and then I also had a full wedding later that afternoon. And the issue was is that I had to keep going and I had to get the rest of that coating off because I couldn't see clearly through the viewfinder. So one could argue it was my fault. I probably shouldn't have wiped that. But also I think if you're spending that kind of money on a camera and all of the lenses and equipment and stuff like that and you see dust on the viewfinder, you should be able to wipe it off without the coating coming off. So I did have to send both of my cameras back to Fuji. They were covered under warranty still because I belong to their Fuji protection program. So I'm able to send my gear in and if anything is covered under warranty, they will fix it free of charge and then send it back to me through FedEx fairly quickly. This did happen over the 4th of July holiday. So um, I sort of wasn't expecting my cameras back that week, but they got the, the problem fixed pretty quickly. 
in the notes, it did say that they had replaced the whole upper assembly of the camera. So I'm, I'm assuming they had replaced the glass of the viewfinder. I did talk to them over in the tech department and they mentioned that the original X-T5s that went out did have this special coating on the camera and that the viewfinders that they're sending out in cameras that are, are going out now uh, don't have that anymore. So if you bought a, an X-T5 maybe a month ago or a couple months ago, you may not have that issue. But anyone who bought an X-T5, you know, right as they were released, you could have that issue. Just be careful when you're wiping the viewfinder off. So really, um, I, and, and also I haven't had any firmware issues with the X-T5. There was a couple comments on my last video asking if I had any autofocus firmware issues. No, I have not. One thing I don't really like when I send my cameras in to get any sort of maintenance done whether it's cleaning, preventative maintenance, or if it's for them to fix an issue, is every time I get my camera back, they automatically update the firmware on my camera, which means when I get it back, I have to customize all of my settings all over again, which I've done it so many times over the years that really I can do it fairly quickly. But the issue with that is that if there is a problem with the firmware, and you get it back and let's say you have a wedding the next day it, it there's no going back and they do it automatically i don't know i i almost feel like fuji should ask you whether you want to upgrade to the next um firmware but uh they automatically do it and i sort of feel like if there is an issue with that update there's really nothing you can do you're stuck you have to work around that and how many times can you do that at a wedding? You have so much stress on a wedding day just dealing with the issues in front of you and, you know, shooting everyone's memories and, and you're the memory keeper for that day, but then also you have to worry about a firmware issue on your camera. Now, luckily that's never happened to me, um, but I do know several other photographers who have had firmware issues with the X-T5 and with other X-T models. Uh, but so far, we've been very lucky and we haven't had anything. Now, I do know if you're considering upgrading to the X-T5, uh, I would not let the problems that I've had stop you. If you're at the X-T2 or 3 right now, I would say definitely the X-T5 is a very strong camera and I would ultimately suggest that this is the best upgrade ever. Um, do I have any regrets as far as upgrading to the X-T5? No, I don't. I would literally do it all over again in a second. The green screen, yes, that's a concern for me. It doesn't happen at every single wedding. It might happen every three or four weddings. Uh, and it can be random, like I said. Um, I don't have to be shooting a lot on the camera in order for that green screen to come up. Um, and then the viewfinder issue, that was resolved fairly quickly. Um, Fuji was able to replace the glass on my cameras for that. So um, to me, uh, right now, those are minor issues and that would not stop me from upgrading to the X-T5. I have not come across any firmware issues so far. Uh, I do have an engagement session this weekend, so I will be thoroughly testing out both of my cameras uh, this weekend. And it's going to be the first time that I have shot on both of them since I got them back from um, sending them in to get the viewfinder replaced. So that being said, um, if you guys have any more questions or concerns about the X-T5, definitely leave a comment below. I would be happy to answer anything. Um, I'm more the type of... Um, person where if someone has a specific question for me, I'd love to answer that. It sort of gives me something to go off of when I'm doing a video, but my next video for next week is going to be about the full kit that I use. I'm going to go into detail about all of my lenses and when exactly I use all of them, and I did touch on that in my last video, but on my next video I'm going to give you some behind the scenes and to sort of strengthen my points as to why I use certain lenses for certain situations. So I hope that that's helpful. Again, if you guys have any topics or any questions or concerns or anything, things that you would just like for me to talk about, I would be more than happy to discuss any of that with you in a video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you guys watching from whatever part of the world you are in. So.
we will chat soon. Thank you.